What's good, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. Of course, part two of Theme Chronicle. Still working on some of the most cheesiest lines in Sulfur Chords. But anywho, the adventure continues. With this hand, all I can say is extremely strong. But depends on what the opponent plays, it's time to figure something out. Magician Souls, toss out DM. Revive the Guy Magician. Red Eyes, Flag Media Dragon, Foolish the other copy. And theoretically, about infinite impermanence, knowing that its level has been changed, I said to myself, what happens when I dropped the infinite impermanence on Black Media Dragon specifically, question is, will its level remain the same or will it go back down to six? Yep, of course, it goes down to six. Sacred Sword, finish the Magician to draw one. Labyrinth Wall Shadow for Sangha. In the back row, Magician's Rod getting Soul Servant. Set one pass. Elegance, toss out Elitia, complete scale, Dreamia, free special, change of heart the red eyes. Two together for Beyond the Pendulum, Beyond the Fet, getting Gracia as I pay 12, two through seven, Pendulum summon three, Gracia search, Elitia bounce back Sangha, and beyond the pendulum's secret effect, if two or more or two monsters with different original levels are pendulum summoned at the same time based off from where the zones are pointing at, so bottom left, bottom right, the case is you can target two cards anywhere on the field, kill them both. So most cases, face down and labyrinth wall shadow. Forbidden Droplet, Elitia Bounce Back Sangha, and then Gracia search the Sulfur Court spell trap, but Dark Magician Gate Guardian scooped. And this next matchup with this hand, I suppose it's all right or something to some degree, but we'll see. Foolish, tossing out Emerald Bird, so Lunar Light. Lunar Light Perfume for Revival of Emerald Bird. Emerald Bird ditch Yellow Martin, draw one. Yellow Martin, grabbing Serenade Dance. Tanky for Tiger. Scale the tiger. Tiger bring back Yellow Martin. Two together. Ooh. Glossed out. Time Thief Redoer. Lunar Light Perfume. Discard Serenade Dance for Kaleido Chick. Kaleido Chick sends his cost. And then Redoer to escape. Emerald Bird, target and revive Yellow Martin. Abyss Dweller, and it comes back. And just for future reference with Abyss Dweller, um, Dweller literally does nothing. Dweller, detach the chick and perm on Redoer specifically so that Redoer shouldn't be able to steal any of my uh, material. Normal Kitia. Kitia getting Gracia. Elegance. Toss out Gracia. Complete the scale. Change your heart on Abyss Dweller. Link the two into Beyond the Pendulum. 
beyond the pendulum getting Angelia. PS3, two through seven. Elitia bounce back tiger, tiger. Gracia search beyond the pendulum target the set and redoer. Killing off. Cross out designator. Gracia getting symphony. Angelia tribute herself for Fancia. Fancia toss out Butia. Symphony activates. And Sofa Chord OTK is a thing. And this next matchup, looking at this hand, uh, oh my goodness, it is absolutely absurd. Uh, if you aren't familiar with the spicy tech of Sulfur Quartz, Extra Pendulum, the case is this lets you put up one Extra Pendulum Summon, but it has to be from your Extra Deck only. So basically, you get two pendulum summons in the same turn. Indulge Dark Lord. Giving me Ukabek on the field from the deck. Getting Superbia. Nastin. Discarding Superbia and Uprising, if I recall. Two together for Condemned Dark Lord. Two fairies to make it. You can tribute summon fairies that require two tributes by banishing two monsters from your graveyard instead of tributing. It is still treated as a tribute summon. Discard one card, take one Dark Lord monster, and either add it to the hand or send it to the graveyard. Basically, Amazon is called for Dark Lord monsters. And then the search or foolish is once. And then, once per turn during your end phase, gain 500 life for each fairy monster on the field. So most cases, in a fairy match, the more fairies on the field, the more life points gained. Discard Ash, getting Morning Star. Contact, more Superbia. Superbia. Getting indulged. Whoa. Into Mascarina. And then gain a thousand. Elegance. Toss out Fancia. Complete the scale. Extra Pendulum. It's go time. Duelist Alliance. For Pendulum Treasure. Pendulum Treasure. Toss out Gracia. Normal Cutia, grabbing the Dreamia. Dreamia, three special since we got a scale. Three together for a Grand Sulfacore Coolia. Mascarina Quick Link, Forbidden Chalice or Mascarina. Extra Pendulum, Pendulum Shokan. Fancia, Gracia, Dreamia. Gracia, getting the field spell. Fancia, toss out Coolia, specifically. Field spell, kill off the Dark Lord. And then obviously I still have one more real pendulum summon and then explode to some cheesy combos and then Dark Lord player scooped. And last but not least in this back and forth match, uh, based off from his hand, really, really solid. Extravagance, doesn't care about extra deck. 
Trickstar Festival for two tokens. So you're telling me that a Trickstar player, hence the uh, Trickstar Festival, you're telling me that a Trickstar player doesn't care about a extra deck? Realistically, I honestly don't see myself playing Extravagance in Trick Stars. Two, to, uh, two tokens. Oh, and obviously, he's locked into Trick Star. Well, she's locked into Trick Star. Goes for Holly Angel. Normal Candina. Take the two. Angel Search. Grab the Light Stage. Light Stage for Lycoris. Lycoris. Return Candina. Take the two, another two, Angel at 24, two set and pass. 400 extra, Holly Angel at 22. Elegant, complete the scale by tossing out Elitia. Normal Kitia, search for Dreamia. Take the next 400 damage. Disturbance strategy, as chain two because Holly Angel is mandatory effect. As in, every time I take burn damage, the damage goes up. Or the attack goes up. And then disturbing strategy, as in shuffle my hand back and draw the same number. If they got Drolling Lot Bird, um, I totally deserve that hand loop. There's the Droll. Glossed out Drolling Lot Bird, by the way. So, if you guys notice that the reference has been made obviously you guys remember that Vernus self hand loop that i once did from the fairy fiend festival and a tutorial by the way of the notorious Vernus self hand loop this time trickstar got their hand loop ever since droll reincarnation but since this is master duel where reincarnation is at one that pretty much means disturbing strategy or present card is the backup plan for it. So most cases, disturbing strategy, chaining droll. So as a result, I totally deserved it. I deserve to get hand loot. Shuffle the hand back, not drawing anything else. Pendulum shoken only one, Elitia, bounce back. The set spell trap. Two together for Asta. And obviously, I did not read the um, portion of the effect where it says Trickstar monsters that this card points to cannot be killed by battle or card effects. So apparently, even though I got hand looped and the main deck Trickstars, as well as the ones being pointed at by Holly Angel, granted themselves battle immunity and card effect protection originally i thought of scooping away the match but i said to myself no we're gonna keep on fighting we're not going down without a fight like that and of course game state simplified normal candina get the lycoris lycoris tag out candina summon where angel is Take the 400, Angel at 22. 550, also search. Take the next 800. Angel twice at 26. 18, 18, the two 16s and a two two, so that's 32. Another two, another two. Angel at 28, Crimson Heart. Opponent drew two. Two set while I drew the one. Two trick stars into Mech Knight Crusadia Avramax. Tough. And out of life point resources for Cosmic Cyclone. Normal Qtia activates Dreamia. We have to play through this maxi challenge or else we will lose. Two together for Mascarina. Pendulum Shogun for three. Elitia bounce back the set. Magna Crusadia Avermax of my own. 
Avramax battles? The first Avramax always wins. Second Avramax of my opponent? Shuffle the mirror image of itself back. Butea 25. Normal Narcissus, set four, pass. Let's see a burn card. Reincarnate, so much for Harmonia. And there's the fixed hand of Fancia Angelia. Reincarnation, bring back Licorice. Two through seven, Pendulum Shoken, three. Elitia, bounce back light stage. Butea. And I think it doesn't make a difference on Coral Bane. Because Butea realistically is El Shadal Construct. Angelia over Narcissus. And Fancia for game. Even though we've been hand looped early game on, we didn't give up. We kept on going and managed to make a comeback from all this time. So guys, that's gonna do it for part two of Theme Chronicle Sofa Court style. So be sure to click on the channel page as you guys watched the video, you know, from the, from the description and all. And if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated Catch you guys next time in part three of Theme Chronicles Sulfur Chords. Peace.